Well, I'm on a little adventure. It's uh, January 2nd. January 2nd. And um, it's all snow up here, but where I'm going is about a half hour south of me. There's no snow. Looks like I got me a bird band, which is cool. I think that's what this is. It's the second one I've ever found. I just found one, uh, I don't know, about a month ago. And at any rate, rate uh, that one came to a ring-billed gull that was banded back in uh, the 1970s. Uh, I'll see if I can get a picture for that one, but here's here's this one. Uh, these are really cool. You can look them up, the numbers. They'll, they'll tell you uh, when it was banded and what kind of bird it was. Um, and then they'll, they'll give you a certificate with your name on it. Uh, where it was banded and then obviously where you found it. So, yep, it says Bird Band, Washington. So I'm going to I'm gonna look that one up. That's that's pretty cool finding. I like finding these. These are really interesting. So we'll take a look at that later. Awesome for the first find of the day. All right, I uh, got a decent signal. I'm not sure... Sounds kind of like a like a penny or something. Okay, I guess it's out of the hole now. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Well, wait. Oh, here it is. It's right there. Looks like it might be a coin. Wash it off in this muddy water. Actually, let me turn that off. Actually, I think it's gonna be, I don't know, almost looks like it could be a button. The way that, um, yeah, that might be a, that might be a button. I don't see anything on it. Any kind of decoration or insignia or whatever. Let's see if we can get that a little. There we go. But this side looks like uh, if this was a button, it's where the shank would have went right there. But it's hard to say. Could be maybe a rivet or something. It's got a little bit of weight to it. Um, kind of looks like a a button. I'm not sure. There's no writing or anything at all on uh, on this side here or on this side that I can make out. So, yeah, not sure what that is. Um, where I'm at is a uh, I'm I'm along Lake Huron, so there was a lot of uh, interesting stuff that happened out here. You know, over the over time, uh, maybe it's something historic. Not sure, but anyways, there's that. All right, well, I'm on the shores of Lake Huron, um, January second. Found that bird band, may have been a button, and uh, there's a lake out there. Anyways, um, get this decent signal, and sometimes it comes up silver. Sometimes it comes up like a uh, like a penny signal. So uh, it's out of the hole somewhere in here because I don't hear it over in the in the hole there anymore. So just to make sure, I'll double check. Probably about four or five inches down. Somewhere in here. Oh. Yep, there it is. All right, looks like a penny maybe. Or like a modern dime. So let's see what we got here. Um, wait a second. Actually, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a mercury, it looks like. A really tarnished mercury dime. 
cool. So we got silver. Let's see. I think that, yeah, that's a mercury, I do believe. Cool. Um, not sure what the date is here. Let's see if I can. Yep, she's getting a little bit more shiny. The date is going to be 19, or I'm sorry, yeah, 1930 maybe, 1936, something like that. I don't know, you might be able to make it out better. Mercury dime. All right. It's always good to find silver. Gotta find me some gold Care if it's broken Don't care if it's old Every new treasure 